Hi, this is Joe Conti. Today we're looking at a 1964 Corvette convertible, Daytona blue with the dark blue interior and a white soft top. This car has a 365 horse 327 engine, which is a, a strong running engine, solid lifter cam, kind of a factory hot rod with high rise aluminum intake and a poly four barrel and a 11 to 1 compression forged pistons, strong running engine, with a four speed manual transmission. This car also has the uh, knockoff wheels. It's got uh, very nice paint. It's uh, older paint, starting to show a few little spots, very minor by the uh, the factory bonding strips. But overall, the car's got a very nice appearance. Chrome is still nice and bright, and all the emblems look good, as well as all the uh, stainless steel molding. All of the trim is correct. Correct 63 64 style grill and all the emblems are correct to 64. Correct rocker moldings and so forth. This car's never been hit, it's got a nice body and good panel fits overall. And the soft top is older, probably the same age as the paint, but uh, <coughs> still in nice condition. I'll give you a look at the interior. This day the tone of blue outside with the dark blue inside and the white top is a nice combination. The interior is very dark blue, it almost looks black under certain lighting. It's a dark blue. Seats, door panels, dash pads, everything's in good condition, carpeting. It's got all of its factory equipment, including the radio, shifter, walnut grain steering wheel, correct 64 only gauges and clock. glove box door and so forth. All in nice condition. Next, we'll take a look at the engine compartment. <clears throat> Everything's correct in appearance under here. Uh, it does have a replacement brass radiator, but that's typical. But other than that, it has a just about all of the correct hardware, including the ignition shielding and valve covers and intake and so forth. This car has power brakes. It did not offer power steering on the solid lifter cars in this year, so there's no power steering. This came with a larger oil pan and it wouldn't clear the one of the suspension members. And that's why they didn't offer power steering with the solid lifter engines. This is basically a fuel injected motor without the fuel injected. Same cam, same head, same pistons. Uh, pretty much everything is the same except for the induction system. Overall, a very nice car. It would look good in your garage. Thanks for looking.